All right, let's work on this. So this um, this was sent in for not accepting discs, I believe. So I think it turns on, but you just don't take a disc. Okay. So is it not taking a disc or not reading a disc? Okay, the disc drive isn't spinning at all. I can't hear it spinning at all. Right, let's drop this down to 128. There we go. Oh wow, lovely. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a 1-2 to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs which start at just $120 per square metre. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pinned comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. How nice. Alright, okay, so... Pop that to one side a second. Forget about that for a minute. Let's just see if it's as simple as uh, just changing the disk drive laser. Uh, well, the entire disk drive because it's easier. Thank you, Rod. Right. Actually, I should probably just try um, a new disk drive without the daughter board swap being swapped over, just to see if it spins a disk before I do anything. Just before I do anything else, I'll just try that first. Simple reason being is, is if it works with, if it doesn't work with uh, a new disk drive, but I've got that daughter board in, then I've still got to swap it over and stuff. Whereas if it if it doesn't work with this disk drive, then I know it's not a daughter board issue, or I know it shouldn't be a daughter board issue. So it kind of just rules it out, or well, hopefully rules it out quicker. Uh, there is a bit of fluff there. That wouldn't have been what's stopping it spinning though. Or at least it shouldn't be. Okay, it's trying to load. Yeah, it is trying to load. It might just be the disk drive deck then. Right, so what I'll do now then is I'll just put the customer's daughter board in and see if it still spins up. If it doesn't, then I might have to do a daughter board swap and just hope that it's not the disk drive chip, this one here. So if it, if it is down to this motor here, it is just faster to just change the entire disk drive. Like when you think of the labour it's going to take to actually take the motor out and swap it out, it, it works out the same price anyway.
So even though it's not overly difficult to change the to change the uh, motor. Right, so that's that's my daughter board. That's the customer's daughter board. That's my disk drive. These are really straightforward as well. You've got a colour legend here for these two wires. So B equals black and R equals red for the uh, insert and eject motor. That's the customer's original disk drive. Minimal amount of flux. And there we go. Wrong screw. Right, let's pop that plate on it because that serial number matches. So, uh, no, not yet. Let's, uh, let's clean off the flux that I've left behind. Not have a lot of flux and it wouldn't hurt it, but still clean it up anyway. Uh, just make sure all of, those, all of those are connected. By the way, to insert an ejector disc, you can... You can just basically use a three volt power source and connect it to the these wires, like I did to reject the disc when I first took it apart. And obviously, to to insert the disc, let me just show you quickly, so I can actually show you what I did. Um, where did my disc go? Did I leave it in that disc drive? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I've got three volts set on my power supply at the minute. Where did I put that disc? I want to actually show it happening. Um, so I've got three volts set on my power supply at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll just take my bench power supply and I'll touch the wires onto these motor wires. I haven't got another disc. I'll show you in a minute um, when I get another disc. I think I've left it in here. Yeah, just touch on, to, touch on the motor wires and it'll eject the disc for me. Kind of how I release discs if I can't fix a console for someone there's a disc stuck in it. Certainly comes in handy for testing. That's for sure. Wait, did I take the disc out? Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Damn it. Never mind. Uh, anyway. Let's make sure that's lined up. Yeah, that's loading up. So if I connect up the HDMI now. Connect the controller. Right, skip sign in. And there we go. FIFA's loaded. Don't know if that's coming across on the mic. But it is actually installed in now. Yeah, there we go. So that's installing from the disk now. Right, so I just need to strip this down for there and clean it.
Okay, that's working. Uh, it's all been cleaned. It's reading a disc as it should. Um, I will confirm it actually plays a disc before I send it back, but that disc is playing up. And that is why. <laughs> that is why. So, yeah. It's a win. <laughs> 